Hello, my friends. Today is July 3rd. Our topic is overcoming humiliation. My friends, are you seriously thinking to react to your humiliator's humiliation as you decided it is too much and can't bear it any longer? Are you really breaking your patience, thinking to break up the relationship due to unceasing cheating and harassing? Or are you really losing your temper and patience that your spouse or your family members taking advantage of your silence and long suffering? Here is the message for you from the Lord that God is giving you the power and authority to take up a firm decision to do something about it. Our devotion comes to us from Revelation chapter 11, verse 5. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devour their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. My friends, the question is how to manage your humiliators or how to manage when people always harass you. I would like to share just three simple ways in the context of this text. Number one, ignore your humiliations. My friends, this is very difficult, but one way of effectively dealing with the humiliation is to say nothing. Simply walk away from the situation, even though you may be seething with anger inside. This is often termed as the less said, the better. If the moment gets ever as soon as it happens, then you can escape the public examination. The audience always likes some degree of gossip. But if the moment dies immediately, then there will be zero effect. At the time of humiliation, you will be dying a thousand deaths. But the final victory will be yours if you prepare to keep quiet and ignore the person completely. Number two, ignore to react. My friends, the most viable way to deal with humiliation is not to react with anger. Being angry will do no good. In fact, it is often considered as a dead end approach. Always remember that when someone deliberately humiliates you, he actually ends up humiliating himself. Humiliating someone in public is a disgraceful act and looked down upon by everybody. So, when you don't react with anger, you have actually taught him or taught her a hard lesson of life. Number three, remember the cross. Cross is the comfort for every challenges. Cross is the measure of your humiliation. Humiliation will never escape any God's children, including Jesus. When Jesus was humiliated and offended, yet he did not react nor curse them. Rather, he left them into God's hand. The more you try to live with your humiliation, you will become even worse and mentally challenged. Just take it to the Lord in praise. Bible says, vengeance belongs to God and he will sort it out for you. Here is the hope for you today from Isaiah chapter 54 verse 4. Fear not, for you will not be ashamed. Be not confounded, for you will not be disgraced. For you will forget the shame of your youth and the reproach of your widowed, you will remember no. Let's pray. Heavenly God, there are many times they are 
unable to accept the humiliation, unable to accept the embarrassment. Please, dear Lord, give your people the strength to pass through, to take it, to ignore, so that they can exercise and practice joy in the Lord always. Thank you for the assurance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.